Hey, what's one thing we all want but don't want to work for it? A billion dollars. Nope. Weight loss? Bingo. And something we all love that doesn't exactly help that goal? Sleep. Two for two, you're on a roll. So let's do the impossible and combine them. Lose weight while you sleep. First thing you'll need to do, boost your metabolism. You know how some people can eat whatever they want, skip the gym, and still not gain a pound? Their enviable magic likely comes down to this butterfly-shaped gland in the neck called the thyroid. It's basically the powerhouse of your metabolism. It sends out hormones that control how well your body burns the calories you take in. Fuel your body's natural fat-burning machine by giving it what it wants – foods rich in iodine, zinc, and selenium. Those include iodized salt, seaweed, meat, shellfish, and Brazil nuts. Chug that water! Good old H2O gives you a 10-30% to metabolic boost, especially cold water. As scientific studies show, cold water forces your body to burn more calories since it has to heat up to get that water in your belly warmer. 6-8 to eight cups of water a day will be enough to increase your resting metabolism to 50 calories a day. In other words, you'll be burning fat while resting. Take cold showers. The same concept works with the water you're bathing in. If it's lower than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, your body tries to stay warm by producing more heat. This speeds up your metabolism and you burn more calories. But don't take my word for it. Ah, you've learned that by now. A study from the National Institute of Health found that showers below 70 degrees increase metabolism by 93%. That number jumps up to 350% when the water is at 57 degrees. Start with a 5-minute cold shower and increase your exposure time by a minute every week, <laughs> if you can handle it. Snooze Now, all these tips will help you burn calories as you sleep. All that jazz about higher resting metabolism. But just sleeping for 8 hours gets rid of 300 calories on its own. Plus, when you don't get enough sleep, your body needs more energy. Since it can't get it from snoozing, it'll look for it from food. Your hormonal levels get all messed up, and your body starts producing more hunger hormone and less fullness hormone. A study took a handful of healthy adults and asked them to sleep for just 6 hours a day for 5 weeks. The result? Their resting metabolism slowed down by 8%. Lower the room temperature. When you're cold, your body will need to burn fuel to stay warm, and that fuel is calories. So the colder it is, the more calories it'll get rid of. Hence the whole cold water thing earlier. Mm -hmm. The best way to do it is to turn the thermostat down to 65 degrees while you sleep. Your body will be doing all the work while you're off in dreamland. Just be sure you don't put on too many clothes to stay warm. Otherwise, the only benefit you'll see is in your electric bill. Get yourself that morning pick-me-up. I'm not talking about a full-fat latte with whipped cream. Hey, sounds good! But instead, just have a cup of plain black coffee. It can increase your metabolism and help you burn fat while lying around. That same National Institute of Health looked at the effects of caffeine and found that it increased 29% of fat burn in slimmer people and 10% in those who had some extra weight. Caffeine goes straight to your nervous system and orders the fat cells to break down. Change the oil, not the recipe. No need to give up fried food. Just switch your cooking oil to something healthier, like coconut or palm kernel oil. Research shows that people who add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil in their breakfast aren't as hungry during lunch, and they have less of an appetite later in the afternoon. These two oils are also broken down and absorbed quicker into the body, and they help your metabolism get the job done faster. Spice things up with your meals. Add chilies, jalapenos, and pepperonis to your diet. These spicy foods contain a substance called capsaicin. That's what has you reaching for the milk when you eat super spicy stuff. Anyway, it can help your metabolism move faster. I'm talking 10 extra calories with every meal. Spicy foods also decrease your appetite. That slice of spicy pizza for dinner will make you feel fuller for longer, and you won't get hungry again before bed. Season with apple cider vinegar. It's been proven that people who added apple cider vinegar in their diet ate 200 fewer calories every day. 
That's because it suppressed the part of their brain that controls appetite, so they didn't feel as hungry. It also reduced the amount of fat buildup in the body. So adding just one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in your salad can kickstart your metabolism and keep it from slowing down. Eat carbs. Your muscles use them to speed up your metabolism. Here's how it goes. Let's say you're eating complex carbs. That could be a bowl of whole grain pasta or oatmeal. Your body breaks those carbs down into sugar to give you energy. If that sugar isn't used, it gets stored as fat. But if you're lifting weights, the fuel is used as energy to keep you going. Bodybuilders take in about 50% more carbs to fuel their workouts, and their metabolism is 14% faster than average. Munch on those proteins. Your body burns more calories to process protein than it does while breaking down carbs and fats. As an example, you eat 200 grams of chicken breast. It contains 330 calories. Your body will burn 99 of those calories just from digesting. Though, if you were to eat a chocolate bar, mmm, the calories would just add up. Protein also helps you build muscle. Which brings me to my next point. Hit the gym. I know, I know, the idea is to lose weight while you sleep. But hear me out. If protein isn't exercised, your body turns it into fat. So even though consuming protein is healthy, you must control what your body does with it. Strength training with weights or just body weight exercises can make your muscles bigger, and toned muscles burn 50 calories a day when you're just lying around. Besides muscle building, do some high-intensity workouts. These are exercises that are both quick and powerful. Training that includes things like mountain climbers, side-to-side -side hops, or squats can help you burn even more fat long after the workout has ended. One study observed young, overweight men doing high-intensity workouts for 12 weeks. Their fat mass went down by 4 pounds, and their belly decreased by 17%. Doing nothing and sleeping are great and all. But if you want your body to scorch those calories while you're lying around, regular workouts will do it. Besides, you'll have nice toned muscles as a bonus. Add fiber to your diet. Fiber found in foods like oats, berries, broccoli, beans, and nuts boosts metabolism, period. Maybe you continue to eat unhealthy foods, but you at least combine them with some beans, apples, and strawberries. When that fiber enters your digestive system, it prevents your body from absorbing excess fat. Foods high in fiber also take more time to chew, so you'll also feel fuller for longer. Don't cut your calories. There's a myth that if you eat fewer calories, your body will jumpstart your metabolism as soon as it senses food in your stomach. Well, it's actually the opposite. When you don't eat enough, your body slows down its functions to save energy. Then it'll feed on those muscles you work so hard to build. And it'll store more fat, since your body considers fat an insulator to protect the organs. The trick is to eat enough calories every day and make sure your diet has plenty of fiber, complex carbs, and proteins. Just don't let yourself go hungry. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. If you learned something new today, then give the video a like <laughs> and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.